stocks have many different layers. Three of them are responsible for the red, green and blue colors. Halation occurs when the light reflects inside the film stock itself, so to speak between the layers. The result of this internal reflection is a red halo around the highlights. The color of the halation depends on how much the green layer was exposed. If the halation is rather red, that means the green layer wasn't exposed as much by these internal reflections. The more the green layer is exposed, the more orange and yellow the halation will become. I applied the halation plugin and we will work with the black and white gradient so you can get an understanding of what we're doing. First, I will enter mask mode and select my highlights. We will do this because only the highlights will produce this red halo. Then I will smooth it off so we can have a nice roll off. The cyan color indicates how much the source limiter is active. I will show you this in just a second. For now, let's disable mask mode and as you can see, this turns yellow. If I now turn up the diffusion, you can see the red halo emerging. Let's zoom in a little bit. You can also see that the halo is more prominent towards the dark edges and not so prominent against white backgrounds. But now let's get rid of the yellow color cast. To do that, we will drag down the source limiter. The source limiter tells the plugin how much of your light source is actually a light source. I turn it down quite a bit and increase the roll of just a tad. And here we go. This looks pretty clean. Now I can turn up the effusion quite a bit so you can see what's going on. Actually, let's go bananas for this demonstration. Underneath, you can see you have a slider for green layer exposure. This is what I was talking about in the beginning. If I drag it to the left, the green layer isn't exposed as much, therefore the halation will appear only red. If I drag it up, the halation will become more orange and yellow. But not only that, if I zoom in even more, like this, you can see how it spreads. It starts out at the very light source, because this is the most likely area the green layer would be exposed. And if you drag it up even more, more of the green layer will be exposed. Let's zoom out again. The boost controls how much the halation is amplified. Last but not least, the impact slider controls the overall appearance of the halation. With this knowledge in mind, let's have a look at an actual shot. We have one beautiful light source up here and this desk lamp over here. I'll apply the halation plugin and jump straight into mask mode. Now I lower the light threshold until everything I want to be a light source is included. Again, the cyan color already shows that the source limiter is already active. If I drag it up, it isn't active and if I just go out of mask mode, you can see that the highlights turn yellow. If I reset the source limiter, you can see that it actually does a pretty good job out of the box. But of course, you can take care of this as you need. Going back into mask mode, I think I will smooth my selection just a tad, something like this, and then I will crank up the diffusion. To see what I'm doing, I will zoom in and go to the actual halation somewhere around here. Okay, this doesn't look too bad. I think I want to give it a little bit more and the green layer should be a little bit more prominent, something like this. Now we can see some rough edges within the light source itself. Therefore, we should increase the smooth roll-off in the source limiter. Unfortunately, our light source turned yellow again, so I will bring down the source limiter again, just to counterbalance this. Bring up the soft roll-off and bring this down again. Let's have a look. This is before, this is after. Actually, we did a pretty good job already. Let's play around with the boost. I think having it a little bit more prominent around six to seven would be a good idea. I go for seven and now let's zoom out. Of course, this looks cartoonish. We now need to take care of the overall effect with the impact slider. I will bring it down all the way and turn it up just ever so slightly. Enable and disable the plugin from now and then to see what you're actually doing. And I think somewhere around 40 would do the trick. Now I will have a final look at what I'm doing. Let's go in here and I think we can play around with the green layer exposure just a little bit more to give it a little bit more of this yellow glow. Having a look at the lamp, you can see that the red halation is not very prominent in the bright parts, but underneath in the dark parts, you can see that the red halation is pretty prominent. Let's zoom out and have a look at the before and after. This is before, this is after.